is something that I found when I was extremely young. It isn't gonna kill ya, cause it is only juvenile ya. We've got another version of that jingle with an actual child singing it, which slightly excuses it a bit more, do you think? I mean, it's a terrible jingle. Have you got that one there, Ben? You don't want to hear it immediately. That'll drive you insane. We're going to do more juvenilia later in the programme. So, hear it. Well, you'll, ha- you'll have to wait, OK? Because we're breaking this up. We have such a, a wealth of stuff mm. to play you from people that have very kindly sent in their juvenile recordings. And this is following on from some clips that Joe and myself played of us pretending to be DJs last yeah, week. Yeah, and we, we have to tread carefully in this area because there can be sometimes nothing uh, more sort of self-indulgent than playing clips like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Childhood clips. But some of the stuff we've had through is just so insane and brilliant that we have to play it to you. And thank you to everybody who sent through uh, an MP3 file of their stuff. We did listen to them all and had a very good chuckle. Um, but we've had to be slightly ruthless in, in paring it down to fit into the show, haven't we? Yes, absolutely. And and we might, I mean, if we get more stuff like this, we, we should do it as a regular thing. So we might play some of the other bits that we got on another show. But anyway, as far as today's concerned, we'll do uh, maybe two or three of these. And I'm going to play you some clips right now from someone called Naomi. And here's the email that she sent. Dear Adam and Joe... I seem to be emailing you all the time suddenly, but I'm not a crazed weirdo. I just really want to get this nonsense recording to you. Here it is. It's an eight-minute MP3 of my radio show when I was a little idiot, she says. And we've cut it down, obviously. Uh, But it's all good stuff. She carries on. In the show, I seem to have a strong interest in John Major. Not sure why. It must be mentioned, though, that I didn't have a TV growing up. And so my reference to people was limited to mainly the news. Uh, also, in the original recording, I say that John Major and Janet Jackson... Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, little... No, that's quite good. She mentions in the original recording that they're going to have sex. And then a year later, she's so guilty about saying the word sex in her childhood recordings. Sorry? We don't have that. Bit. Oh, really? Well, it's <laughs> funny anyway. She went and replaced it with the phrase... Record, record token. token. <laughs> they're going to have a record token together. Uh, I thought that was nice, but we don't, we can't illustrate that. Uh, she says, I hope you like the show. Basically, it was a very long clip, so what I've done is I've just cherry-picked a few yeah. bits that give a flavour But this is it. amazing. How old was she when she recorded this? Well, she doesn't actually say, and... I think I, it was, was it 11? I think so, it was around that. We, we might talk to her on the phone Yeah, afterwards. we can ask her. But this is, you've got to imagine a very young girl and a little tape recorder pretending to be a radio DJ. So let's have the first clip from uh, Naomi there, Ben. <laughs> It's real cool that song. It's cool. It's by John Major, so it must be brilliant. Everybody around? Yeah! It's real! Right, right. Here is another tune. So off we go. Oh my darling, bad of man. Oh my darling, bad of man. Macaulay Culkin, Brian Adams. This is a mixture of the both. Oh, why are you over there? Why are you here? I don't know, but why are you over there in the drunken seat? Because I'm over here. Why can't you come over here? Why, oh, why do I have to go over there? I'm too lazy, <laughs> I'm too lazy. Right, why that song was called Justice to the World. I'm so lazy, I'm so lazy. <laughs> Why are you over there? Why Sitting are in you the drunken seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Um, amazing. What's that record she's playing at the beginning? That's her, I think. Is it? Yeah. Wow, she's a very uh, creative and talented young girl. Have we got another clip? Yeah, we've got a couple more clips. Uh, here's a clip right now. She does another uh, another short song and references um, Danny Minogue in this I mean, song. she's rapping there, right? She's being the DJ and the, and then she she became the record. She right. was rapping. She was the artiste. Yes, exactly. And that was a free bit of freestyle rapping. Uh-huh. Incredible. She, she does something a little bit similar here. So now, if, we, if you don't mind, I'm going to play a tune with my voice. As I don't have anything else in my substance. And a hairbrush. So here I go. Danny Mino! <laughs> Danny Mino! Sorry about that. That was rather a short burst. But it was actually sung by John Major, so it must be quite a good song. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> She's just got. Danny Manog! Danny Manog! 
That was John Major with his new single, <laughs> Don't Even Know. <laughs> it must have been quite well, good. I'd want to live in that John world. Major. Yeah, that, I mean, that's an excellent radio show. Here's one final <laughs> clip right now. Before we actually talk to Naomi, because I think we've got her on the phone, uh, here's Naomi with the news. Right, this is some more news on Radio 3 in the morning. Tonight, actually. So, um, now, this more news I have for you is about jo um, George Bush. He set off his fire alarm <laughs> to make everybody run to his house so he can have a bit of attention. More news in a minute. <laughs> and the, the minute has gone very quickly because <laughs> here I am again. Um, this more news is about Paul Simon, the singer. He's bought ten donkeys and he's training them to do donkey rides at a fair. That is all I have tonight. How about listening to Michael Jackson blowing his nose? <laughs> Gum will be up his nose now. <laughs> it stung him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so she's using all like 